Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I just wanted to go over a couple quick little, I guess, questions I've been asked about the Genie app and the Mercury cameras. First of all, I just want to jump right into it real quick. On the top right hand corner, beside of the, the plus symbol, there is another plus symbol just over beside of it with circles around it like tic-tac-toe that is actually where you go to see multiple devices on your phone now those you can see you know however many that you have it'll show them all there and as you can see on my home screen here that i have two and then i have two of the lamps which they call them the lamps on the genie app i don't know why because they're actually when you buy one it's actually called the mercury led smart bulb so that covers that but real quick what i wanted to go over let's go into motion detection because this is a big big topic so i have mine turned off and what you want to do is you just want to Turn it on, and it'll pull up this screen. This is your settings for motion detection. And you can see I have selected all day because I don't have mine on a schedule. And I have my detection on low because high will drive you crazy with the notifications. So basically with the schedule, you just turn it on whenever you want, and you can have it set to turn off whenever you want. Moving forward now, let's see. Let's see, let's look at the screen for the camera, the home screen. Basically, you have your motion to text here, and then your press and hold to speak, your record, screenshot, playback. Press and hold is like my favorite thing because if I have a delivery coming, I can just press and hold that and be like, hey, leave it there. But moving right along into the back into the settings of the device because I get a lot of questions about the SD card and you know what how to format and oh, let me pull it back up here there we go okay but you just click on SD card settings and it pulls it up and then you click format SD card hit confirm format your card and you go back to recording it's basically that simple get asked that question a lot because that can kind of throw your whole game off there um, you'll see total is 28 GB the good thing about these these cameras is they don't you never have to take the SD card out it'll delete the old ones and you just continue on let's see the next one is device sharing so let's click on device sharing and it pulls up this screen so basically just to add you just click on add new device and just follow the the on-screen information there um, no one can you you give this information out you enter it in and you just follow the on-screen steps it's that simple um i know that was a big topic let's see what else okay oh and i get asked a lot about alexa and google assistant which is basically google home so let's click on alexa and you just follow the steps and it shows you how to connect you just go through all these steps all the way down to the bottom and it even gives you a list of prompts down at the bottom and it's the same thing for Google Assistant, which, like I said, is basically Google Home. And you'll follow all these steps, go down to the bottom, and it'll give you some prompts just like Alexa does. Let's see, moving forward. Um, what else do I want to cover? Basically, that basically covers all the settings on the SD card, device sharing. I, oh, I don't know. Let's go back to the home screen here, which you just hit the little arrow. 
Okay, so home screen, then camera, home screen, notifications, and it pulls up the motion alert notifications, and you click on it, and then there is view. And then once you're in view, it'll pull up to where you can select a date to review and record like this and then like I said record or screenshot and it'll save it automatically to your photos on your phone which I think is phenomenal home but that's basically it I mean it's got and you can you know you can change the layout of the home here with this these little dots list view where they down like that grid view it shrinks them down and you can see them all it's in a grid you know uh, and then of course manage room you can add another room for more devices or somebody else wanting to you know share your devices and then we'll click done back and then smart screens real quick touch on this this is your if you do have alexa this is where you do all that from of course i don't have it because I really don't want an Alexa because I can do everything I need to from the Genie app. I just might have to do a few more things besides saying, Alexa, turn down, turn room down to 50%, which will turn the bulb down to literally 50%. I mean, it's hard to give right on that. There we go. But, or turn camera on. So, basically that's it and if i didn't touch on something you was needing to know about comment down below i'll walk you through it however you need to do it we'll we'll figure it out so hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you found it helpful if you didn't if you if there is questions you don't have to hit the like button you don't have to hit the subscribe button but still ask your question because i want to help i mean that's what i'm here for i've had these products now for quite a while and I enjoy them. After this video, I've got some other Mercury products I'm going to come out with with some new videos. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Be looking for those. Thanks for watching.